We use money every day, but we rarely appreciate its power and its flaws. It's a tool that has been at the center of human progress. And as we build bigger and tackle complex problems, we're going to need the best tools available. We have a global economy. We're going to need a global digital currency. Cryptocurrency is going to be a great democratizing force for the world because it's going to level the playing field and allow anybody with a cell phone to access financial services. This is going to transform how we think about a real global economy. I think in order to understand its importance, we first have to define what currency means. What currency does is it actually allows us to agree upon the value of something. It's almost like a communication tool. There are different ways of coordinating human beings. One way that you can do that is with money. You can incentivize people to try to work on the same thing at the same time. We started off building simple systems like a bridge crossing a river to very amazing things like rocket ships. We went from interacting with our neighbors to now transacting with each other around the world. And we want to make sure that people can move money freely. And our current financial system just doesn't enable that. So the current systems are very centralized. And so we have big banks and big governments. There's a lot of middlemen who make things incredibly inefficient. When you talk about the problems of the existing financial system, you can go to a situation like Venezuela, where you know money is being printed and, and folks' savings are basically being destroyed. The value of their wealth has been completely eroded. I think a lot of us in the United States sort of take this idea for granted that if someone gives us money, it'll be in our bank account, and it's not going to disappear or be taken away from us. And that's really a luxury that many people in the world don't have at all. There are about 1.8 billion people in the world today who have a cell phone but don't have access to any financial services. And what's really powerful about cryptocurrency is that it lets anybody, if you just have a smartphone and internet connection, participate in the global economy. What cryptocurrency does is takes the stability that we have and gives it to the rest of the world. If I have a dollar bill, I can hand that directly to somebody else. There was no bank in the middle there. With digital currency and blockchain, it's actually more similar to cash, yet again, where I can send something directly to somebody else and I don't necessarily have to go through middlemen like a, like a bank or a credit card company. We can go back to how we normally transacted, which is directly with each other, without all these giant central parties in between. When computer scientists talk about the concept of so-called decentralization, what they mean is to avoid this idea of a single point of failure. A single point of failure like we have with institutions. If you have a single bank and that bank has all your money and then that bank fails, well, everyone's out of money. Whereas if you have lots of different individual nodes, uh, hard drives and phones and so on that have some money, well, they're probably not all going to fail at the same time. So you no longer need the middleman to keep track of an internal ledger. All these computers are writing everything down for you. That network effect makes it unbreakable. So technology makes us richer and wealthier because you need less time or less money or less effort to get something done. Right now, when people think of crypto, I think they think of investment. There's a lot of speculation. There's a lot of talk of prices and how much money has been raised. But it's really important to see past that. It'll shift to people actually using cryptocurrency to buy goods and services and transact in the economy. That's not just send money back and forth. That means employ each other or fund each other. A more global economy is important because there is talent everywhere, but opportunity is not evenly distributed. In a world where this technology is fully adopted, it won't matter what country you're born in. All that will matter is that you have a mobile phone and internet connection, and you have skills and knowledge to learn, and you can contribute to the global economy. You can benefit from the world, and the world can benefit from you. Think about what kind of economy we could have if we had a global currency that we were all responsible for and all invested in. It opens up opportunity for everybody. Just being able to trust that if I do good work in the world and someone compensates me for it, I will be able to keep that wealth. That's such a powerful idea that it actually encourages people to try to do more good things in the world. If you've got lots of people who are invested in each other's success, literally, they're invested in each other's success at a broader level. I think cryptocurrencies are going to be as impactful to humanity as the internet has been. Digital currency and blockchain can bind us in, in ways that, that we wouldn't be bound before. So yeah, guys, that was um, a video on Coinbase. I just want to give a big shout out to Coinbase because that was the first place I started buying crypto from. And I find it to be very, very easy and simple for you to also start here. 
that's the reason why I'm going to show you this platform because it is very easy for you to get started with Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. So if you're looking to buy Bitcoin, Ethereum and other project project that's available on Coinbase, because not everything that you see is available on Coinbase. Oh, well, in the market is on Coinbase. So whatever is on Coinbase, you're able to buy. But if you're looking to buy Bitcoin or Ethereum, you'll be able to use Coinbase. And it is very, very simple. It's 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 more simple than any other platform out there. That's the reason why I'm going to show you guys this one first. There's many more, a couple other ones that are pretty good. But they're a little bit the same, but a little bit complicated. This one is just straight click and buy, pretty much. So when you go to coinbase.com, this is where you're going to be. It's going to land you to the home page. On here, you could check out the price, all the product. They have the Coinbase, their wallet, earn. I'm going to talk a little bit about the earn. Ventures, custody, and commerce, and, and their trading. Their cryptocurrency trading, um, where you could trade on um, Bitcoin and Ethereum and other cryptocurrencies as well. So definitely go to www.coinbase.com coinbase.com check them out read up on them see if this is something for you if you live in the u.s canada or where and anywhere else that they're available definitely take a look because pretty much this is the three steps create an account link your bank account and you can start buying it's very simple so now um i'm in my coinbase account and this is this is what you're you're gonna see. You're just gonna go here and after you well, um, I didn't add my payment method and I didn't buy any crypto. You well, you have to add your payment method before you can buy crypto. I didn't do that because I don't use it that much anymore. So I deleted my payment and I never updated it. So yeah. Um, yeah, definitely take a look at this. Um, you could also invite your friends, and if you invite them, I think you get ten dollars, twenty dollars just for inviting them once they sign up for Coinbase. Also, there is, um, you could, um, yeah, you could earn some rewards. So, when you go to earn. Like if you go to Coinbase and you go to Coinbase and you want to earn some token and you are, you could go to the earn page and you could start by earning. So what the earning page is, is that you would click on here and it will go through some simple videos explaining to you what the token is and what, what it does. And when it's done, it's like probably three, four videos, like probably a minute each. And you'll get six dollars worth of that token depends on which one you you watched and you learned about so what they're doing they're, they're paying you to learn about the tokens i find that to be very very good because you don't want to get into something you don't know but if i were you i would take advantage of this watch all the videos and get the token hold on to it if you're new and just to see how how the the crypto works like it's very volatile they said it goes up and down so fast so it's good to take advantage watch all these videos and don't sell it or nothing just keep, hold on to it so you can see how it works and maybe that will help you or teach you how to transfer so if you transfer this you wouldn't care to lose it as much as if you buy buy with your own money and lose it so that's kind of a good thing also, I want to show you guys the Coinbase Twitter. You know me, I'm always talking about the Twitter and their home, their main page, their website and stuff like that because those are the best place to go to find the best information because you're getting information from the source and not somebody else. That's the reason why I always show you guys, I always tell you guys, check out their Twitter, check out their website, the YouTube, subscribe and stuff like that to their stuff. So you guys, anything that happened, 
with the project or Coinbase or anything, you will know because they will post and show you what's going on. It's just like me when 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 I um when I invest into a project, I like to follow them and I like to know what's going on with them. I like to stay up to date because when you invest your money, you want to know where you, what's going on with your money. Like, is everything going good? Because you know, if things are going bad, you're more likely to probably lose a little bit. Or, and everybody's here trying to learn, and some people are trying to um, build, and some people, other people are just trying to make money. If you're in trade, so if that's you, then you definitely want to stay up to what you invested into. So that's 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 um pretty much Coinbase and what what they're doing and what you know they're a good place for you to buy. So don't forget that Coinbase is a digital currency exchange headquarters in um San Francisco, California, United States. They broker exchange of Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, Litecoin, Tezos, and many other cryptocurrency. So if you're new to coin, um, Bitcoin cryptocurrency and you want to say you want to invest or you want to get some information and eventually buy, I think Coinbase is the best place to start out with. So... I'm going to show you guys now the CEO of Coinbase. His name is Brian Armstrong. If you want to also follow him and see what he talks about and see what he's up to, you can also follow his Twitter. I'll click on his Twitter so you guys can get the direct link. This is his um, official Twitter, Brian Armstrong. Brian underscore Armstrong. Don't forget it. And when you see this check mark, that means his account is verified. So who is Brian Armstrong? Brian Armstrong is the chief exclusive of Coinbase, the largest cryptocurrency exchange in the USA. Armstrong co-founded Coinbase, which is based in San Francisco in 2012. Coinbase raised $300 million in October 2018 in a financial round led by Tiger Global and valued the company at $8 billion. In 2018, now it's 2020. That 8 billion is probably, say, 20 billion, 30 billion, because they've been there, they're one of the main place to buy crypto, and they also came out with the exchange, all those things that happened after. So you got to look at that. That 8 billion definitely gone up. Um, Brian Armstrong is born January 25th, 1983. He's around 37. He's an American. He's education, Rice University. Yeah, so that's Brian Armstrong. That's who he is. That's the CEO of Coinbase. That is Coinbase. I'm going to play you guys another video showing you guys what to do and how to do it. Like um, to sign, uh, verify your stuff verify your id on coinbase so take a look at this video and i'll see you guys on the next one don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget i'm not a financial advisor this is not financial advice it's just information to help you guys out if you guys are looking to get into this space and see you guys on the next one to show you how to verify your ID on Coinbase, whether you're using the Coinbase mobile app or Coinbase.com. When you reach the ID verification stage, select which type of ID you have. Once you've selected your ID type, you'll need to upload a photo of your ID. Here are a few tips to help you get it right. Make sure your ID is valid and not expired without any hole punches or modifications. Don't redact, watermark, or obscure any part of your ID. Next. Make sure your ID is fully visible and in focus, clearly showing your first and last name, date of birth, and ID number. It can help to put the ID on a table or a flat surface with a simple background. The photo must show your entire ID without cutting off any corners or sides. It's best to take the photo in a well-lit area without glare. If possible, take the photo in natural sunlight for best results.
Double check these points to make sure the photo of your ID will be accepted. Now, let's dive into how to use each of the upload methods. The best way to create a Coinbase account is with the Coinbase mobile app. Follow the prompts to upload the front and back of your ID using your mobile camera. If you are on Coinbase.com, click the mobile camera option. You'll receive a text message to your verified phone number. Click the link in the message and follow the prompt to upload the front and back of your ID using your mobile camera. After submitting the photos from your phone, you can continue the application process on Coinbase.com. If you are a U.S. customer and are uploading a photo file of the front and back of your ID, a JPEG file works best. Drag and drop the photo of the front and back of your ID from your computer into the drag and drop screen. If you are using a webcam to take the photo of your ID, it's best to turn up the brightness on your computer and avoid glares that obstruct any part of the ID. Our goal is to make sure the ID verification process is as easy as possible for you so that you can get started on Coinbase. As always, if you have any issues, you can reach us at support.coinbase.com.